Hello, this is Scott with Cannabis MD Telemed. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the process of submitting the application for a medical cannabis card for a minor and parent slash guardian. To start the process, open up your email. After your appointment with one of our providers, you'll receive after appointment instructions, which will have a video walkthrough of the entire process, as well as a certificate for the patient slash minor and the certificate for the parent slash legal guardian. To start, open up the email, click on this link here so that you can start the application process. You're going to want to do the application for the minor slash patient first. So to begin, type in the last name of the minor and their social security number. And what this is going to do is it's going to search and see if they already have an account. If there is no account, you're going to be prompted to create an account. If there was an account for this person, then you'd be prompted to log in. So let's go ahead and create an account for the minor slash patient first. Type in your first name, last name, social security number of the minor. date of birth of the minor, and an email address for the minor. You could use the parent's email address. Address. City state and zip code. Phone number as well. And now you're going to, have to create a user ID for the minor slash patient. We will do create a password and then a security question and answer so that you can reset the password in case you forget. Now we've registered. It's prompting us to log in so that we can begin the application. Type in the username that was just created and the password. Hit log in. And now you can start the application for the minor slash patient. Under profession, select pharmaceutical processing medical cannabis. Under license type, this is going to be for the patient, which is the minor. Obtain by method, initial application. Start application. Click here to begin the application. You can read all of this and hit start. Go ahead and verify that all the information you entered previously when creating the account is accurate. Then hit next. And now it's asking, is this application for a minor or incapacitated adult patient? Select yes. All right, now you're going to put the full name of the parent slash legal guardian. Provide your email address. Of the parent. All right, go ahead and initial and hit next. Now it's going to have you verify all the information, make sure it's accurate, and then you can type in your full name here. Click I agree after reading everything. 
and then hit finish. Once you hit finish, it's going to prompt you to pay the $50 application fee. You go ahead and pay that application fee. And then what we're going to want to do is do an application for the parent slash guardian next. I'm going to go ahead and back out of all of this. And go ahead and close it down. All right. Now we're going to do the application process for the parent slash guardian. Go ahead and click on the same link. We will search again. Enter in the parent slash guardian social security number this time. No matching records found. It's going to prompt us to create another account. First name, last name, social security number of the parent slash guardian. Parent and guardian's date of birth. And your email address. Your address. City, state, and zip code. Phone number next. User ID. We'll do CBD THC parent 2021. Select a password. And then a question and answer to reset it if you forget. Hit register. It's going to prompt you to log in. Log in using the parent slash guardian's username and password. All right. Go ahead and click here to start the application. Profession, pharmaceutical processing, medical cannabis. License type, this is a parent slash guardian license and it's obtained by initial application. Hit start application. Read all of this. Click here to begin and read all of this and then hit start. It's going to have you verify all the information you've previously entered. Make sure it's all accurate. Then hit next. It's asking, is this application for a parent guardian of a minor or incapacitated adult patient? Yes. Put in the parent slash guardian's full name. Full name of the patient, which is the minor. Now you have to put in the social security number of the minor. Date of birth of the minor slash patient. And then initial here. Hit next. It's going to ask you to review everything. Sign your name here to electronically sign, read this, agree to it. And then when you hit finish, you're going to be prompted to pay a $25 application fee. Now, once you've paid the application fee, we're going to have to go ahead and send the supporting documentation to the Board of Pharmacy so that they can use the supporting documentation combined with the applications we just submitted to issue a medical cannabis card for both the parent and guardian, as well as the patient and minor. I'm going to go ahead and close out of this. At the bottom of the email, you will see the certificate attached for the minor and for the parent. I went ahead and already downloaded all of those.
go ahead and compose a new mail and we're going to send it to cbd at dhp.virginia.gov subject medical cannabis card application parent and minor All right, we can go ahead and attach the documents. So we got the certificate for the minor slash patient, the certificate for the parent slash guardian, a birth certificate for the minor, the parent slash guardian's driver's license, and proof of residence for the parent slash legal guardian. We're going to go ahead and select all of these, add them here. And we're going to go ahead and send them the email. Now, once that email has been sent, you should receive both medical cannabis cards, one for the parent and guardian and one for the minor slash patient in the mail within 30 days. If at any point you run into any problems while submitting these applications, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. You can always call or text us at 804-893. 5068 or email us at hello at cannabismdtelemed.com. Thank you for watching this video.